What is up, guys? Welcome to another exciting episode of Talk Inside the Ring as we're ringing the bell. It has come to my attention that apparently nobody is talking about this, but I'm going to talk about it. MJF is back in AEW, and it is glorious. All right, so like I said, we finally have the return of MJF. The slimy devil himself is back in the world of All Elite Wrestling, and I cannot wait to see what and all we're going to do, what we're going to get. The way how they built it up was tremendous. I was watching All Out with my buddy Jeremy, and we were watching the Casino Battle Royale, and we noticed that they pulled the poker chip down, but there was still one more entry. The entry comes down, and he's walking, like, with a little bit of swag, like how MJF does. And I was thinking, what if that's MJF? And they just hand this guy in this devil mask the poker chip. And my buddy Jeremy was like, nah, man, ah, ah, that might be MJF. That's some MJF stuff. So, like, we're pretty pumped. We get through the rest of the pay-per-view, and match ends. But before that, I was thinking, what if, at the end of the match... It turns out to be MJF, he takes the mask off, hands in the poker chip, we get a rematch, we, we get another match, and he walks out of All Out as the AEW World Champion, but the poker chip doesn't work that way. He just gets a future shot at the championship, most likely at full gear. So, CM Punk and John Moxley, Punk wins, all of a sudden lights go out, we get a voice recording from Tony Khan calling MJF, saying, look, um, you not being here is really hurting the fans, I'm willing to swallow this bitter pill, I need you to come back. I will put you in the Casino Battle Royal. I will give you this certain amount of money, but you have to show up all that. This is the last offer that I'm going to give, and you're probably not going to get a better one. And then we get the promo that CM Punk did years ago where, you know, he talks about how the greatest thing the devil ever did was making it to where you didn't believe he existed. MJF shows up in his mask, turns around, takes it off, and just says, and I am the devil, and then he puts on that scarf, and then we hear the music. And then he comes out and and he's just, you can tell he's trying to stay in character, but you can tell he is so happy to be back. I don't know if this is him still being a heel, or if this is him being a face, or what, but the fact of the matter is he looks at CM Punk and he's like, that belt is coming with me, and I cannot wait to have this championship on MJF. If MJF ever sees this, I am sure I'll get called a mark in every other single name in the book. I'm sure I'll be made fun of to the 10th degree. I don't care. MJF is back in AEW, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Nobody's talking about this. Why not? It is one of the biggest things that's happening, happening in pro wrestling right now. I don't care about what's going on in the back right now. I really don't. I just care about this. MJF is back in AEW. Guys, put in the comments below what do you think about the fact that AEW swerved us big time and MJF came back. I'm super excited for it. Don't forget to hit or drop that like button and spear the subscribe button for the one, two, three. And if you can do that, maybe... Just maybe, I'll give you a shot at my AEW World Championship. Have a good day, guys, and let's see what the future holds.